Hey, what's up, studs? Ryan here, or MR Productions, and welcome to LEGO Meme Sets 4. This is the 2020 edition of the yearly video of LEGO Meme Sets, the funniest LEGO sets you will probably ever see. If you haven't seen LEGO Meme Sets 1 through 3, they are in a playlist, and I'll have that link down below and on the end screen at the end of this video. So enjoy this one. You don't have to have seen the others to see this one, so you can watch them later. You can let me know in the comments section below what your favorite set of this video is, and I also have as many of the original creators as I can link down down below from this video. Anyway, I want to start out with something that's pretty topical for today's video. You can see even the LEGO C-3PO is partaking in some extra measures to make sure he stays healthy during these tough times. He's wearing his little face mask, which I think is pretty awesome. Whoever put that on there, that was just really witty and smart, and I wish it was me who had thought to do that. Obviously, I don't even know where this is, but that's still so cool to see, so love the C-3PO there, and also topical with the times. I know it's not a Star Wars meme set, but it's a meme set nonetheless. It's a little panic buying set. It, you know, it doesn't hurt anybody here. It could be a future Lego set. It's a nice idea. You even got a thief in the store literally stealing toilet paper. And then a guy off to the right with a dolly full of toilet paper. And then a guy on the left filling up his truck with toilet paper. I mean, this scene is just so jam-packed full of really funny stuff. So much toilet paper. It's off the rails. Hopefully Lego's able to get this set out very soon. I would definitely buy it. I'm pretty sure everyone else would too. And I want to take a moment here to inspire some people. Uh, don't let your memes be dreams, everybody. Hashtag we want to file first battle pack recently became a successful campaign and I just wanted to tell everyone don't let your memes be dreams. Just because you may see things on here that look ridiculous doesn't mean that they can't one day become real. Our first meme set here is going to be Darth Maul Sith Speeder minifigure not included. So I guess this is maybe a behind the scenes picture or something of Darth Maul there on what is supposed to be Tatooine. And then it's actually just kind of like the blue screen version of it. And so this is what the actual Lego version should have probably looked like. I also really like the inclusion of the sand base plate and, you know, the minifigures that extra touch that this set needed. The plain clothes Darth Maul. You don't see that often. Our next setup is one that I'm pretty sure a lot of people feel very strongly about if they didn't like Star Wars Episode 9: The Rise of Skywalker, but Snoke's in a jar. How can you go wrong? You get four Snoke minifigures and an Emperor Palpatine who's apparently about to electrocute all of them to death. There's some type of weird apparatus above them, kind of like the claw from Toy Story, about to pluck one out and bring them into the world. <laughs> That's how I imagine him picking which Snoke to send into the world. That is a hilarious thought, actually. Another Episode 9 inspired set here is Darth Vader helmet shattered Darth Vader helmet not included what what a ripoff though I guess I'm not surprised yo Wookiee nuts if you're watching this aka Star Wars Photoshop like if you're gonna add helmet not included you should totally add things like ship does not float to like random boxes like helmet does not float should be put on this box just because it's funny I don't know it's an idea it's an idea. But unfortunately, it looks like this is just a fake set that he made to try and trick us all because set number 75275 is actually the UCS A-Wing. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like this set is real either. We've been bamboozled. Our next meme set is one that I don't even understand, but it's the Hip Hop Trooper with the Adidas logo. But instead of Adidas, it says Trooper. Pretty neat. I like the red. It's like a Sith Trooper, but it's a Stormtrooper button red. It's pretty slick. Not gonna lie. I would actually buy this if this was a real set. Most of these are just kind of funny jokes, but this one. This one is aesthetically pleasing. He has his boombox, which is killer, but also kind of outdated because it feels like it's from the 80s or 90s. But damn, the hip hop trooper is killing it. I wouldn't mind. May the 4th exclusive, anybody? May the 4th exclusive hip hop trooper? I'm just saying. Just saying. Buildable figures make it a comeback here with the hip hop trooper. I think this is where Lego should have gone with it. Hip hop trooper, please. Next up is Pink Shorts Boom Guy. And most people, myself included, when you see this for the first time, you might be wondering, well, what does this have anything to do with Star Wars? Wars because it really doesn't. The only thing it really has to do with Star Wars is that there was some guy wearing pink shorts on the production team that held the boom mic when filming Star Wars and there's a picture of it and then there's this poly bag now and obviously it's not a real set but honestly this would be one of those cool things that Lego could do is like a nod to that but obviously that's just such a niche thing that only like 
a couple hundred people I feel like would know about and then people would be like well, what the heck is this promo but it's still really cool to see pink shorts boom guy I like pink shorts boom guy honestly I'm surprised nobody's ever been selling custom minifigures of this guy I've never seen it online but that would definitely be cool next up another buildable figure I'm telling you buildable figures could make a comeback here if they if they go with these ideas these are Darth Maul's legs so head and torso not included I'm, I'm sure it would still be the full $30 price not half the price even though it's only half the figure but Darth Maul's legs here ooh, going right down the chute there and somehow gonna start well I guess these don't come back to life because his legs aren't on his body in the Clone Wars it's just his torso and head that survives but watching his legs fall down the shaft is kind of cool our next set is a beautiful barbecue on a sunny day on Hoth the Tauntaun barbecue you get two snow troopers and some meat and bones and Tauntaun horns no Tauntaun included to slaughter for yourself you also have some wood and some fire this is a beautiful barbecue honestly this is a really funny little creation for a set obviously Lego would never do anything like this but god dude I would be lying if I didn't say I would love this as a May 4th promo. Our next set was an April Fool's prank this year, and it is the Porg Battle Pack. I, you know, for the last couple years, I get the question every once in a while on Ask m &R, would you want a Porg Battle Pack? Should LEGO make a Porg Battle Pack? Do you think LEGO will make a Porg Battle Pack? Do I think they will? No. Could a Porg, maybe one Porg be in a Battle Pack one day? Perhaps, maybe. I don't really see where it would fit, because I don't see any Battle Pack based on anything from Octu Island. But, dude, after seeing this little mock-up, this would be such a dope set! I mean, obviously, nobody actually wants this because it doesn't make any sense at all, but using the clip to hold the stud shooter, because that's what you have in battle packs, you have stud shooters, just makes so much sense to me. And then the tree is actually, I think, what really sells this set to me. I didn't know what the build would be for something like this, but the tree is actually killer. That is the tree that holds the sacred text in episode eight, The Last Jedi, and it, for the scale it's in, looks stunningly accurate and beautiful. Like, he has done a killer job with this one i love the way this one actually turned out i'm shocked it turned out so well but yes the porg battle pack man i'm on board i am porg battle pack 2021 our next lego meme set is the first order atst this is one of the most well done meme sets i have seen to date we just saw the porg battle pack which looks almost real this first order atst looks so real to me the box art looks like something lego actually did themselves i wouldn't be surprised if they actually put this out as an april fool's joke it's like a headless atst and i bet they would charge the same amount as an ATST that had the head that came out the year prior. Oh, wait. They actually did that. Our next set here, honestly, is probably my favorite of this entire year's meme set, and it's Baby Yoda! Plus the Razor Crest. So, if you guys don't know, LEGO is releasing the Razor Crest later in 2020 on September 1st. In fact, I'll put my Amazon affiliate link down below because why not plug myself while we're here? But someone photoshopped it so that instead of it being the Razor Crest, obviously what a lot of people wanted from LEGO was a Baby Yoda figure and we're getting that, but they changed out the Razor Crest on the box art for Baby Yoda and it's so damn cute and funny. It's such a genius idea as well. They threw the Razor Crest even down where the minifigures usually go and put Baby Yoda up front and center this is a hilarious it's so good it's so good right like most people are spending 130 dollars for baby yoda let's be honest okay maybe that's a little bit of a stretch i think most people are actually buying it because of the razor crest and the razor crest is actually a good model but damn that baby yoda's hot oh wait am i allowed to say that next up another episode nine base set Fanboy Tears. For some weird reason, it kind of reminds me of my Camino mocks, but that's besides the point. Fanboy Tears is based on all of the people crying about Episode 9 being bad, or what they thought was bad, or they didn't like the story, they didn't like what happened to this character, what happened to that character. Well, guess what? It's never going to be perfect. It's never going to be exactly the way you imagined it because there's a million different ways it could end up happening every time. I'm honestly surprised LEGO doesn't do this with their base plates and try to tie them into some type of uh, license theme with some type of marketing like this, but LEGO Star Wars Jetta City obviously is a set that needs to happen and it's only one piece it's not hard to produce jetta city blown to smithereens is oh that is a good look honestly though jetta city is a really cool thing in star wars but yeah seeing it like this is not ideal well if you remember at the end of episode 8 there was broom kid and you can now get the broom from Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi. And they didn't do anything with that from the story in Episode 9 because they didn't know what to do with it because it was dumb. But if you want the broom, now is your chance. It's its own poly bag. Ah. 
We have a 20th anniversary set coming up next year. Obviously, 20th anniversary is last year, but you know, it is what it is. But I think my favorite part of this set is the matter of factness of the title of the set, and it's Django Fett Dead. <laughs> like, it's just, it's so matter of fact. Django Fett Dead, 20th Anniversary Edition. The only thing I would add to this, if I could add one thing to this, it says on the bottom right, Django Fett Collectible Minifigure, I would make it say Dead Django Fett Collectible Minifigure. <laughs> so yeah, really funny set. You see him on the sand there that would be on Geonosis with his head cut off and he's dead because Mace Windu killed him. Why Mace? Why you gotta do him dirty? And our final set for Meme Sets 2020 is TK421, TK710, and Scanning Crew still on the Millennium Falcon, except they're dead and they are skeletons. And uh, uh, uh give me the heebie-jeebies kind of looking at that. You hate to see it. You just hate to see it. <laughs> this is so wrong. This is so wrong. If you enjoyed LEGO Meme Sets 4, the 2020 edition. Give it a like, guys. I love doing this series every year. It's so fun to look at some of the funniest sets being created around the community, and this year, I think, has definitely been the best. There are so many great ones, and I look forward to doing this again next year in 2021. Be sure to comment your favorite down below. My favorite has got to be the Baby Yoda Razor Crest swap. That's just such a creative way to do it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I do tons of LEGO videos and LEGO Star Wars videos a lot as well, so you want to check that out if you're into that, and if you didn't see the previous three LEGO meme sets videos, here they are on the end screen. <laughs>